Hi guys, welcome back to Mabel's Milk. So if you are new here, my name is Kelsey, this is Mabel. And in today's video, I wanted to show you guys um, how I milk my cow, my Jersey heifer who has short teats, um, like what my technique is. Um, if you're new to my channel, um, or our channel, um, please consider subscribing. My goal is to help 500 families bring a family milk cow to their farm. So we share thing, all things family milk cow. So um, let's go ahead and get started. So I've already kind of milked Mabel out a little bit and this is just gonna be hard, but hopefully we can figure out how to do this. So um, Mabel has shorter teats on the back than she does on the front. Like I said, <coughs> excuse me, she is a Jersey heifer. So I'm hoping that um, in the future she will, um, her back teats will become a little bit longer than um, what they are right now. But I, I was hesitant as well. If you read the forums and stuff, um, a lot of people don't actually talk about sh uh, looking at teats um, if you're going to be hand milking. And um, thankfully I ran across somebody that I know who had a short teated cow and she um, ended up buying a milk machine. And that just wasn't an option for us at this point um, cost wise. So um, I just wanted to uh, so we ended up uh, getting Mabel and I was like, you know what, we'll just figure it out. Um, the gentleman that I bought her from uh, said that, yes, her front teats were longer and he was hoping that her back teats would be long enough. I've heard of people who put um, the calf on, they'll milk out the front teats um, for a heifer and then leave the back teats. That way that the calf is pulling on those and hopefully elongating them, I guess. Um, I just don't know any more information on that, like to <laughs> like actually tell you guys that that works or not. But what I'm doing works for us and so I just thought I would share. So I guess I'm gonna, just because of the angle, I, I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to show you um, for this back tee. I might, it's just hard to um, get the right angles and still be able to milk. Let me sh shift this over just a little bit. Okay. Now I'm totally squished in here. Hopefully we don't lose our milk. Woo! Okay. So um, what I do is milk the front one like a normal. So I will pinch at the top and then roll my fingers down and milk like that. But for this back teat, I don't think I'm gonna be able to show you just because of the angle. But what I will do is I will grab onto it like I'm stripping and go like this. And actually both of my hands are doing two different motions. So this one is stripping and then this one is um, milking like normal. Yeah, I'm just not gonna be able to show you guys. Um, let me see. Yeah, it's not gonna work. So, um, yeah, just like this and down is what I'm doing with my left hand. And if you didn't know, a cow produces different amounts of milk. I'm gonna shift you guys over here. So you can maybe just see the speed that I milk at normally. Um, they have different amounts of milk in each quarter. So, um, I will just kind of shift around, but I'll always, like this hand sometimes will come up to the front and I'll milk both front ones, the normal milking style by pinching at the top and then rolling your fingers down. Um, or sometimes I just do like that. So this is the motion that I'm doing, pinching at the top and then just pulling down. And it seems to work quite well for me. I mean, I do get um, a good amount of milk out. I do get her fully milked out on those back teats. Um, it's just a different motion for your hands. I don't know if I would like to do it on all four teats. They were all four su super short. I don't, you guys can't see, but those back teats are probably, I mean, take that much off. They, they definitely, I can't um, put, like get my hand around them to milk them like normal. Like, um, whatever, like the normal milking style of pinching and rolling. So, I hope that helps somebody. It's not as intimidating as you think, um, milking a cow with short teats. But like I said, I don't know if I would like it if I was milking all four teats that were short. Um, so that's just something to consider when you are purchasing your family milk cow. Make sure that you're looking at teats. Um, 
because that's the biggest thing. <laughs> you know, that's where the milk's coming out from. Um, I don't know much about milk machines. Like I said, that wasn't something that was an option for us when we first got our, um, getting our family milk cow. It was enough of a cost just to buy the family milk cow. <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about. So, um, so yeah, but I just thought that was a good tip to share uh, and to show you guys that it is possible to um, milk a short teated cow. So if you guys haven't already, please consider subscribing and make sure that you give this video a like on the way out because it really helps support our channel and have other people find it and hopefully get closer to feeling comfortable to purchasing their own family milk cow and adding it to their farm. So um, we'll go ahead and leave it at that and uh, thank you guys for watching. Bye guys.